Hello, my name is Hans van Vorp, and today I will be giving you an introduction on generative modeling. So the goal of generative modeling is as follows. Suppose we are given a set of training examples, and given this set, we want to create new ones, which are similar to, but not exactly the same as the ones we've already seen. Contrast this to discriminative modeling, which we have treated earlier in the course. In discriminative modeling, we are, of course, trying to model the conditional categorical distribution. For example, we have images of cats and dogs, and we are trying to differentiate between the two. So we are uh, creating a neural network, F, with parameters theta, and for example, we end with a sigmoid activation function and then train using binary cross-entropy loss. At generative modeling, however, we are trying to learn the data distribution itself, so the distribution of x. And the goal for today is to learn a parameter, theta, for a neural network, which learns and models this data distribution and tries to bring it as close to the true data distribution. So what can we do if we have access to this data distribution? Well, we can do all kinds of fancy things. But maybe most importantly, in my opinion, we can create many, many pictures of dogs. So what does this probability distribution look like? Well, it's often highly dimensional, right? Even for like, say, small pictures of 200 pixels by 200 pixels, we'll already have like 120,000 dimensions. Also, this probability distribution is very complex and not just a, one of the simple families. It's not a normal or a Poisson or Bernoulli, right? It will be very difficult to model this probability distribution directly. So how do we deal with this problem? Well, if you remember only one thing from today, remember this. We do not model P of X directly. Instead, we start with a latent variable Z. And we can supposedly, for example, uh, choose for this Z a normal distribution uh, with mean zero and unit variance. And then we will learn a transformation, a generative transformation, G of theta here, on this Z to create X. And now we can sample from Z, which is just a normal distribution, and your computer can easily sample from that, and then perform this function on Z to create X. So, for example, we have four latent dimensions, and then we map through G, and ta-da, out comes a new picture of a dog. And today we will should be discussing three flavors of G. We will be discussing gossip, frenemies, and sandcastles.